Hi everyone, it's Phil here from Ashland Leather and I've got a ton of amazing private stock wallets and baseballs to show you today. And everything that we're about to look at will be available on our website, ashlandleather.com. I'm planning to have it live at 8 p.m. Central Time tonight. If you're interested in one of these private stock items, there is a private stock page on our website and you'll find everything listed there. There's about 60 items that will be available on that page. And we're about to look at every single one of them that will be going live. So let's start off first here with an incredible piece. This I think might be my favorite piece from the batch. This is a tall Herbie. This is like our fat Herbie design with a bill slot that extends all the way to the top. And you can see on this tall Herbie, Herbie, this is a really beautiful piece of reverse psychedelic shell cordovan, and it has a kind of range of color from these vibrant sort of purple violet tones down to those green shades, and a little bit of tan in there as well. And I just think these colors go very nicely together, especially because we've included a hand-stained violet edge. And take a look at the inside of this. We have more of that reverse psychedelic shell cordovan. I'm going to move pretty quickly today. We've got a lot of stuff to look at. Raw denim shell cordovan on this Johnny the Fox, and this one has a really special orange hand stitching. There's something about this orange hand stitching that people really gravitate towards. So I've been trying to introduce a little bit more of these into the private stock. And on something like this, Johnny the Fox, with 100% raw denim shell cordovan, it's an extra special piece. Very difficult for us to get thin pieces of shell for the interior of the Johnny the Fox. And in addition, we have the Horween USA measuring machine stamp cut right into the center. And there are several shell cordovan base bells that will be in the batch today. We're gonna to start off with this one here. This is ultraviolet shell cordovan with reverse ultra violet shell cordovan and you can see we really like to cut the ink stamp right into this visible center spot of the baseball and speaking of ultraviolet we also have this three shot card case in reverse ultraviolet this one has really remarkable splatter really random variation of the die on the reverse side of all the shell cordovan but this is a little bit of an extra amount of that splatter on the reverse piece of ultraviolet shell cordovan this one also has a cream color hand stitching as well as a gold foil stamp the three shot card cases we have one card slot in the front one card slot in the center and then one on the back there's one long wallet in the video today and it is an absolute stunner check out this piece of western marbled ultraviolet shell cordovan it's a lot of words to describe this piece but they start with the ultraviolet shell cordovan slowly scrape away the layers of finish and then you get this colored effect those lighter and darker spots in the leather and then they press the western texture on top of all of that and it's this layered effect of color and texture that I find to be very, very, very striking. This one also has a baby blue color stitching along the outside and on the inside where we have ultraviolet shell cordovan, more of that Western marbled ultraviolet. And then this piece in the center is the reverse side of the exterior here. This is what the reverse side of the ultraviolet looks like. And we cut the ink stamp right into the center. We also have one private stock passport holder in the batch today. You can see the passport fits into this larger slot both on the left and on the right, there's two credit card holders on the left side. This leather is really special. This is a variation on Horween's Chrome XL leather called M's Chrome XL. And it's got much more grain character to it and it's a little bit more dense and full when compared to the normal Chrome XL because of how it's been hot stuffed. The waxes that are in this leather are just a little bit more dense. Here's another Johnny the Fox. This one really stood out to me. This is raw natural shell cordovan and on the interior we have English tan Dublin. So this is a great thickness on a Johnny the Fox without shell on the inside, so the cost is a little bit lower. Another Johnny the Fox here with shell on the outside and horse hide on the inside. We've got inverted blue shell cordovan, and I will spin this one around for you because it's such a dynamic range of color in all the inverted shell cordovan. You can see these drip marks a little bit darker on top of some of those lighter tan, a little bit yellowy green color underneath. This one has a teal color stitching along the outside as well as teal horsehide latigo on the inside. And people have been asking for Tony the Ants. We've got several Tony the Ants. Brought out two to show you first here. This first one is a leather that we have not used on a private stock video before. This is a color called mahogany, and I don't think it's ever been done before on one of these private stock videos. You'll notice that it's a really beautiful brown shade, and it's a little bit lighter than something like Cigar, which I have on the left here. So Cigar Shell Cordovan, you can see, is much darker. The mahogany is almost more like a color four. It's got like a little bit of red to it, but it's still more of a straight up brown. So this one is a hand stained brown edge as well as more mahogany on the inside. And let's look at that cigar piece. This is a hand stitched cigar 
Tony the Ant. Really, really nice piece of shell cordive in here. And the hand stitching is a little bit of an extra fee, but it does give you that bold, chunky thread look that is only achievable by hand stitching. Those threads will just not fit into a sewing machine. This is a really clean looking cigar shell cordovan Tony the Ant. I brought up my favorite baseball. Check out this guy here. This is tumbled natural shell cordovan. And there's something about these linear marks here on this specific piece that I find to be very compelling. So you can see it's a little bit more subtle on this pattern piece and a little bit more dramatic on this one. And here's another three shot card case. This one also stood out to me. I'm trying to pick up my favorites for the beginning of the video. I'm not really sure what this is, but I think this is inverted shell cordovan and it's a lighter, more pale green sort of tan color, but it does range a little bit. It almost looks like a whiskey shell cordovan color with some of these reddish drip marks. And then we've included the gold foil stamp for our logo and as well as hand stitching on this one. Let's look at the back where we have garnet shell cordovan and you can see the range of color on the garnet shell does range dramatically being more red and vibrant at this angle. And as you spin it, it becomes a little bit darker and more brown at this angle. And we do have a lot of fat herbies in the batch. I wanna show you this one here first. This is color number eight chrome Excel on top of English tan Dublin. And you'll notice we've got this sort of framed out stitching look going along all the edges of the card slots. And that's because Oh, it's a special treat. This is the Fat Herbie portrait wallet. And this is a portrait of the man that the wallet was named after. We cut into this little oval piece here that I think turned out great. This is a really beautiful looking Fat Herbie. And it's pretty fun too. So look at the inside. We have more English tan Dublin. That wallet's so good, Miranda. It makes me smile every time. And I was just telling everybody in the shop that the Herbie wallet made with Fat Herbie's portrait on it makes me smile every time I look at it. Next up, we've got a Kia green shell cordovan Bugs Moran, and this is a really beautiful piece of shell, really nice vibrant green shade on this particular piece of Kia. We also have a matching hand stained edge. I think this is where it really shines. There's something about the reverse side of that Kia green shell that really sets off the color and the rest of the pattern pieces. Another hand stitch wallet. There are some Capones available in the batch today. This is violet shell cordovan with a really bright yellow hand stitching going along all the edges. And there's something about the purple and yellow that go really well together. We also have a gold money clip on this one that sets off the yellow color. All right, we're gonna slide in another tray of stuff. Oh, tons of good stuff here. We've got a Johnny the Fox in marbled blue shell cordovan. You can see the range of color from all those aqua blue shades down to a little bit more of this orangey tan. We have a teal color stitching along the outside with teal horsehide latigo on the inside. Let's keep it going with the foxes. Next up here is a really cool piece of inverted blue shell cordovan. You can see this is a lot different than the inverted blue we looked at earlier. This one is a little bit more of a subtle color and less of the drip marks. And on the inside of this one, we have cobalt blue Dublin, which is a leather that we do not have available anymore. Next up is a really cool piece of tumbled color four shell cordovan is what I believe this is. It's a really interesting reddish brown shade with that tumbled effect and they achieve this look by tumbling it in steam heated drums and it sort of pebbles up in an interesting way the shell cordovan does not delaminate like most grains on most leathers so you get this interesting sort of coarser pebble pattern and on the inside of this one it's got a really cool looking reverse interior with all this die splatter especially on this front card holder and next up is a remarkable looking giant the fox in my favorite shell cordovan this is the amaretto shell cordovan check out this really vibrant orangey tan shade really beautiful shade on the amaretto shells i love this color it reminds me of the english hand dublin this one has been hand stitched which gives it that bold chunky thread look take a look at the inside more amaretto shell cordovan one more really cool johnny the fox this looks like the capone we just took a look at a minute ago violet shell cordovan with the yellow hand stitching there is a nice range of color in the violet shell so i'll spin it around you can see much darker at this angle and then as you turn it a lot lighter at this angle more of those vivid purple shades come through, especially contrasted with the yellow hand stitching. Up next is a really nice piece of color four shell cordovan with a hatch grain texture. And this is a really nice medium brown shade with reddish undertones that is completely set off in a good way with this hand stitching. And on the inside, we have more of this hatch grain color number four shell cordovan sitting on top of the smooth color four on the top. 
with the hatch grain in the center. Let's take a look at the Tony the Ants here. This is reverse ultraviolet shell cordovan on top of ultraviolet shell cordovan. Another one with some hand stitching here that matches the lighter tones of that reverse ultraviolet. It's more of like a pink stitching color. And here's the same thing on the inside. Here's a nice Tony the Ant in a beautiful piece of black Dublin. And you might be able to notice immediately the texture difference on the Dublin leather when compared to the shell cordovan. We get much more of this dramatic figuring in the grain when compared to the shell that's completely smooth. This one has a contrasting red stitching all through the outside border and on the inside. Up next is something that we used to not see in private stock. This is the Tony the Ant in black shell cordovan. We no longer carry this as a stock item right now, and so they're only made to order or private stock only. There's something really clean about the edges of the 100% black shell cordovan wallets. So you can see black shell cordovan on the outside, remarkable piece of shell, really bright and shiny and smooth. The edges are all hand stained black and then waxed and burnished. And we have black shell cordovan on the inside with the Horween ink stamp in the center. Next up is one of the thinnest wallets in the batch. This is another black Dublin piece, but it is made from extra thin pieces of leather. We've got horse high Dublin on the inside. And by popular request, people have been very, very interested in the vertical Bugs Moran. So we've got a couple to look at here. Color eight shell cordovan with the Western texture. We've got a natural wax and burnished edge, which gives this wallet a really nice framed out look. And on the inside, we have reverse color eight shell cordovan with epic die splatter. Here's another Western wall at this time is Western green shell cordovan with a cream color hand stitching. We have matching green hand stained edges with more of that green Western on the inside. Another Bugs Moran, this time it is hand stitched and we have darker green shell cordovan with a cream color hand stitching. This one also has a hand stained edge. And on the inside, I love this little effect here. We've got some blue hand stitching through the two inside center pieces of the card holders. Up next is a minimalist style Bugs Moran with the vertical card slots. This is black shell cordovan on the outside with a natural waxed and burnished edge. We also have black shell on the inside, but no stamps at all on this one. And here's another Bugs Moran in a green color. You'll notice that this color is much lighter than the darker green we looked at a moment ago. There's a little bit of a range in the color as I spin it around. You might notice there. On the inside of this one, we have tumbled marbled shell cordovan on top of marbled shell cordovan and another mahogany shell cordovan piece this time it is on the vertical bugs moran you'll notice the color on that mahogany is much lighter than the cigar shell and a little bit darker than the color number four shell cordovan here's a look at the inside it's more of the mahogany shell cordovan and the last of the vertical bugs is again my favorite shell color that amaretto shell cordovan this piece is really really bright and shiny and very vivid in color i'll spin it around for you because the color does change very dramatically here. And here's a look at the inside. We've combined the Amaretto Shell Cordovan for the two center card slots with some Violet Shell Cordovan. All right, we'll slide in some more stuff here. Check out this one. This is our traditional Bugs Moran, the card layout on the inside. A little bit different than the vertical bugs we we're just looking at. This one is in raw denim shell cordovan, and I love this alternating stitching on the outside. It's sort of like a pink and blue combination. And we have some of our five slot Frank the Enforcers. It's like our normal Frank, except we have an additional card slot on the back. So this one is in black and violet shell cordovan. And I have another five slot Frank the Enforcer. This time it is in ultraviolet lizard shell cordovan, hand stained edge, and the same leather on the back. And the last of the five slot Frank the Enforcers, this is magenta shell cordovan it's a little bit lighter a little bit more vivid than the ultraviolet both on the front and on the back and here is a marbled ultraviolet piece that turned out really nicely this is our three slot card case i love looking at this color especially spinning it around it changes very dramatically depending on what angle you look at it so marbled ultraviolet on the front marbled ultraviolet on the back and then some hand stained edges and the last of the three shot card cases is in violet shell cordovan it's a little bit darker more of a straight up purple shade when compared to the ultraviolet. And here's a fun one. This is a prototype that I believe was the beginning of our two shot card cases. You'll notice this one's a little bit smaller. This is a, a prototype for what ended up becoming the, the, the two shot there. So you can see we extended the height on the two shot. But this was the original prototype sample that has a really cool splattered effect on the back. Now let's look at some machine gun jacks. First one up here is color eight shell cordovan with the baby blue stitching. Here's another one in black shell cordovan. This one has some red stitching on it. We also have natural shell cordovan, more of a straight up look without any contrast. And then we have two more. Both of these are reverse color eight shell cordovan, but you will notice that the color 
is completely different. So we have one that's a little bit more red and one that is a little bit more tan. And we have two key fobs that are also hand stitched. Both of these are in black shell cordovan. All right, we're rounding third with our private stock event here. And this is the last tray of stuff we'll be sliding in. Start off with a baseball here with some gray stitching. We also have a violet shell cordovan baseball and this one has alternating stitching. This one turned out great. We've got marbled blue shell cordovan with reverse blue shell cordovan. And then this has that blue stitching. Now let's take a look at some fat Herbies. First one here is the new brown cypress leather that I find to be completely amazing. Really resilient leather, very, very dense and firm and has a really great grain character. People are really digging the brown shade. So brown cypress on the outside and on the inside, this is what makes it private stock. We've cut the Horween measuring machine stamp into the center. Next up, this one turned out great. This is an all reverse Color HL Cordovan Fat Herbie with Epic Die Splatter. You'll notice this one has stamps cut in the bottom and in the top. And you'll also notice the die splatter is really remarkable. We have a hand stained Color 8 edge on this one because the reverse side of the Color 8 in the inside is super, super dark. It's like a full color eight on the interior, although this is the shell side and this is the reverse. Here's another really beautiful piece of shell cordovan. This is inverted ultraviolet, and you can see a little bit more of these red tones on the top, and a little bit more orangey tan on the bottom. This one has some hand stained edges, and then on the interior, we have reverse ultraviolet shell cordovan. Another inverted shell piece here, this is black, inverted black shell cordovan. We don't see this very often, and this one turned out really great. So in the same way, that the inverted ultraviolet has those dye splatters. We get the same thing on the black, but this time it ranges in color from more of these tan shades to straight up black. It's very, very dark. And a little bit of these colors in between. On the edges of this one, we have a natural waxed and burnished edge with a little bit of color added, it looks like. And the interior of some more of that inverted black shell cordovan. A couple more Herbies to look at. Check out this one here. Really clean piece of black shell cordovan with black hand stained edges. What makes this one private stock is we have two hidden card slots on the inside center. And here's another remarkable fat Herbie. This is epic whiskey shell cordovan. Take a look at the texture on that. That's impossible for us to order. This is just random variation within the shells. So this is something that's completely, completely unique. And you'll never find one just like this again. We also have some cream color stitching for this Fat Herbie as more of that epic whiskey on the interior. And the last Fat Herbie is a leather that we have not released just yet. This is the Royal Blue Cypress leather that is really, really nice. I love that vibrant blue shade on this particular piece of leather. We also set that off a little bit better with the red stitching on the outside. And this is a hand stitching. So you'll notice the thread is a little bit more bold, a little bit more chunky. We have that same blue edge on this one. And this is sort of like a USA wallet. So we have the red hand stitching along the outside border with the blue leather and the white hand stitching to divide the card holders. And we'll end it with some Capone money clips. Next one here is Western Violet Shell Cordovan with a baby blue hand stitching. On the interior, we have marbled ultraviolet with a western texture on top of it. Here's a fun one. This is the lizard texture on some denim blue shell cordovan and natural shell cordovan. We have a natural waxed and burnished edge with more of the western lizard on the interior. Here's the leather I don't think we've done before. This is brown football leather. I think this might be called ruffian from Halloween because it's not the actual football. This one has a cream color hand stitching and on the inside we have chestnut doubling. And the last wall of the day, Capone money clip and epic natural shell cordovan take a look at that random variation in the shell. You'll see as I tilt it around in the light, it is completely flat and smooth and very bright and shiny, but that texture is sort of embedded into the leather. I'm not really sure why that happens, but it's a really interesting and beautiful look. Take a look at the inside of this one. We have more natural shell cordovan with a gold money clip. So wow, thanks for checking out everything in the video today. I'm going to have to come back to this guy here. Fat Herbie, this is the guy that started it all off. <laughs> this is his wallet with his portrait on it. Thanks for checking out everything in the video. If you're interested in one of the private stock items, maybe you want the portrait Herbie. You can check it out on the private stock page of our website, ashlandleather.com. And everything, again, will be going available at 8 p.m. Central Time today. So that's 9 p.m. Eastern. Thanks again for checking it out. If you have any questions or comments about anything, please leave a comment. Until next time, hope you have a good one.